Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 10th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's get cracking in terms of European market stats this morning. We start off with the Asian session. Asian session certainly mixed. We had the Shanghai index certainly down overnight, uh, relatively uh, weaker, more or less flat, one could argue. And that's at the back of uh, weaker inflation numbers. Now, weaker inflation number generally indicates weaker growth uh, and certainly doesn't bode well for the uh, Asian markets. So bear that in mind. Uh, having said that, the Nikkei certainly closed higher on the back of stronger US jobs report, although the wage growth certainly was slower. Okay, so bear that in mind. Hang Seng as well, finishing up 0.6%. Now, that certainly has led to, to a potential gap up on the uh, European indices as well. FTSE up 20 points, DAX up 60, French CAC up 17 points. FTSE maybe is higher, IBEX is probably the weakest out of the lot. Okay, in terms of economic numbers uh, from the European session, uh, the ones that we really are focusing on are German exports, imports certainly stronger than expected, trade balance expect stronger than expected, and therefore should technically help the euro. But the euro certainly under pressure due to the stronger, or euro USD certainly under pressure due to the stronger US jobs report thus far. So keeping the euro just below 1.14, although it did push higher post uh, German trade data. Eurex uh, uh, Centix Investor or European Centix Investor Confidence certainly coming in slightly weaker. Okay, uh, Turkish industrial production as well coming in slightly on the weaker side. Uh, in terms of uh, economic data from Japan overnight, machine orders and trade balance numbers certainly coming in on the weaker side, although they did pledge unlimited QE and that certainly is keeping the uh, USD JPY above that 114 handle. Uh, keep an eye on the USD JPY though, I think that is going to be quite important going forward in terms of the uh, risk in this market. You certainly have, if you look at the uh, daily chart, you certainly have a potential double top or horizontal resistance now, okay, and therefore you are looking for a potential reversal. If the, if the yen starts to strengthen, then we all know that indicates risk off, and therefore it's going to cause trouble or panic and risk aversion in the market. So bear that in mind. In terms of uh, the uh, technical picture or technical setup, let's see exactly where we are. Uh, the German DAX in the daily chart, like I said, we gapped higher, uh, still trading sideways, no real sustainable move thus far. Uh, you're still holding that key resistance, okay, on the 60-minute chart. You have further resistance at 12.540 and then further, further resistance at 12.580. We still have that unfilled gap at 12.760. That certainly needs to be closed, and we have an unfilled gap that's been opened and left behind on the 60-minute chart. So you can certainly see the pivot high thus far on the German DAX has been from the initial open at 12.480. Obviously, we have resistance at 12.490, so bear that in mind as well. Okay, in terms of the next potential move here. Uh, again, you have unfilled gap below. Okay, you have previous resistance equal support as well. So certainly supported thus far on the uh, German DAX. In terms of the uh, next uh, index, which is a CAC. Okay, so again, no real sustainable move here. Now, concerns with regards to CAC uh, certainly come from the fiscal side now, uh, given the fact that uh, potential tax cuts certainly have been postponed to 2019. And obviously these these labor uh, reform laws certainly are facing some resistance now and it'll be interesting to see how mr macron obviously fares 60 minute chart certainly a double bottom has been put in but no real sustainable move you'd expect a stronger move here especially given the fact that you had stronger us jobs report kept the euro usd down also obviously with regards to stronger german uh, trade data this morning imports export stronger it isn't having that effect at all Okay, so 10-minute chart, you can see we're certainly struggling really to even move higher here. You certainly have intraday resistance for now. You have gap fill. So you can see here, it's almost a very, very meager gap higher. 5145, 5160, I mean, not even 20-point gap. It's not exactly good news um, for the bulls, let's put it that way. Okay, so uh, if you were bullish, you'd, you'd want to see a much more healthier gap. I mean, one would have presumed we'd have closed this gap by now at 5180. And even that's not being closed. So it's not exactly a good sign. So keep an eye out for the uh, potential weakness in the French CAC, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 certainly has gapped higher, but the gap higher itself has, has been vulnerable thus far, okay? Uh, the pivot high for the day has been 73.85 region, and obviously the market's rejected that thus far and continues to reject it. Now, the unfilled gap remains at 7350. We'll see whether we can close that. 
further support below at 7335. We have had uh, a, a double whammy, a weaker data for the UK. Uh, UK investment down and consumer slowdown with the BDO output index. Uh, Caribbean also uh, down 30% on poor earnings. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern. And uh, bear in mind, you have concerns over the US healthcare debt, apparently according to Mr. McCain. And Mr. Mnuchin signals the tax plan only going to last 10 years. So everything certainly seems to be watered down by these politicians. When they want the votes, obviously everything is uh, hyped up. And then uh, when it comes to substance, there is nothing. Okay, so that's where we stand with the FTSE. Uh, certainly looking for that gap to close below, especially given the fact that we have weakness in oil too. In terms of the euro stocks, let's see where we are. Daily chart certainly does indicate support. One would argue you are looking for a bounce, but given the fact that European indices certainly have been lacklustre this morning, certainly isn't very convincing. Okay, so 60 minute chart here. If we do continue higher, then you are looking at resistance on the 3490 level. 10 minute chart at the moment, like I said, still, still struggling. Okay, you have an unfilled gap left behind. Let's see if we can close that gap. If we do continue higher, the next resistance is seen around the 3490, and then you're looking at 3500. Okay. So from my perspective, European indices have gapped higher from the uh, on the back of obviously uh, the uh, stronger US jobs report, but it certainly isn't very convincing. Okay, certainly isn't very convincing, especially given the fact that on the S and P 500, we're certainly into resistance. US JPY into double top, it just certainly doesn't bode well. That's my interpretation. That's my understanding. Especially on the uh, daily chart, you can see we have gap fill at 24.32, already trading at 24.30 as we speak. We have resistance at. 75% resistance at 24.28, diagonal trend line resistance as well, and it certainly doesn't look, bode well for the, um, the US indices, let alone the European. So keep an eye on that, and let's see exactly how which way the market turns. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.